and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look at the front press zigzag. It's a move which is kind of in the hoop but it uses a little bit the strap. It's super nice and visual and it comes basically from a pencil. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It does help a lot. And if you like what you see, give me a thumb up or leave some comment below. It's always nice to hear from you. I'm super happy for any question or any feedback. And yeah, let's look at it. I will start this move with the back towards you. So you see it better. But what you do first is you are coming on top of the hoop. You can actually just have one leg in the front and the other one in the back. Then you are sliding down turning towards one side and I would turn towards the side where the leg is in the back. So my hand which is on the bent leg is still here on the hoop and my leg of the leg which is here in the back is in front of my face. So I'm pushing into that one and turning sideward. So I'm straightening both legs and here I'm in a pencil position. The next thing I do is I bend my legs so I'm pushing with my cuffs the strop and I'm doing like a zigzag position and this front hand is really holding then I take the second hand and I push as well I grab in front of my face and the other one and here I am in the zigzag for coming out I release my hand from the leg which was in the front I grab behind me I straighten my legs I bend that leg again I come with the other leg to the front again and either I can hang in both knees or I can come down into a wine glass or something else. This is already the entire move. Again, it's not super hard, but it is an inverted move and I would recommend you start from a pencil. So hang in one leg, have the other leg in the back. The leg which is hanging inside, so over the hoop, is the hand you have behind you. So you're turning away from that leg, facing basically the side of the hoop. Then you take the hand which has been there in free, you hold already the hoop, and then you take the second hand, once you have bent your legs. What is important or what you can feel is of course the pressure of the hoop on your, like on your shoulder, on your neck. So I recommend that you make sure that you have it pretty close here and not too far down on the shoulder because that hurts even more, especially because here is kind of a bony part. So try to have it on this place here on the muscle. And when you turn, you will, of course, feel the pressure there. And then the hands are pushing. I feel that I'm almost pushing into the hoop, which gives me stability. So it's not just holding, it's kind of pushing. So you have your neck here and then you push. So you get some kind of tension there. And the legs are also together pushing, like the calves are pushing the strop together. And just where the hoop and the strop come there, you are pushing as well. And then you can think about making a little bit a hollow body. That looks a little bit nicer. And then you have already a shape. So. I really hope you like it. I hope you tag me with your try of it. And um, thank you for watching every time, wherever you are in the world. I don't know, but thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.